dear jazz guitar enthusiast Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. In today's jazz guitar tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you my chord melody arrangement of When Sunny Gets Blue. That means you'll learn how to play the guitar chords and a melody simultaneously. simultaneously. I'll teach you note for note and I'll play through the entire song right after this intro. I've also made tabs including regular music notation and backing tracks and the link to all that fun is down below in the description box. Now grab your guitar and let's get started. We are in the key of F and we have the classic jazz standard song form of A, A, B, A. Each of these sections are 8 bars long, so we have a total of 32 bars. Here we go. Alright, and here are the first 4 bars of the A section of When Sunny Gets Blue. We start with the tone C, 5th fret of the G string, and I harmonize it a sixth below of the scale of F in a scale of F and that's the E. So I have E, second fret and this one on the fifth. That's our pickup and now count one of the first bar we have a G minor 9 chord and I play, here's the ninth, that's the A and a third and a third of the B and G string plus the G in bass. So I bar over. Alright, here's a better angle. Then I put my pinky away and the G comes out and put it back on, right? And next, that's a 2-5 G minor to C7. I could have played this C7, regular cowboy chord, but I play my trademark Sandra um, C7 flat 9 with the flat 9 in bass. Might be a little hard if you're a beginner, but let's try it. The D flat in bass, then the E, B flat, D, did I say B flat? D flat, E, B flat, and C. 4, 2, 3, 1. If you can't do that, it's important that we have the melody note here. You can also play a regular C7. Okay, but I think this one sounds so much better, especially coming from. All right, 
Next we have the resolution, the one chord F major in an inversion, inversion shape. Here is the F on the third of the D string, here is the third of the chord, that's the A on the fifth of the E string, and here is the fifth. All right. Next we have a 2-5 um, B flat minor to E, thir e flat 13. I play that same chord that I had on G minor but on B flat 6th fret. 8, uh, 6, yeah. 6, 6, 6, 8, upper 3 strings. Then lift the pinky off and the 6th B flat. I'm having a bad angle here. Then the B string and the G string. That's the melody. Right? To its 5 chord, E flat 13. Here's the E flat 9 chord. We don't play the E flat, we just start from its third. That's the G on the fifth. 6, 6, and here's the 13. That's the 8 of the E string, the C. Right? 5, 6, 6, 8. So. Glide down and shape a diminished chord on the 5th fret, 5, 6, 5, 6. That's a, let's call it G diminished, but actually it stands for a C7 flat 9. That's the same thing. And it resolves to that F chord we had already. 5, 3, 5, F with A in bass, right? And now we have four 16th notes. You can play them like this, A, G, F, E on the high E string, but what I did here was I added six below again, below again. In the key of F major I searched for what's the six below, and that's the C and the A, same thing on here, B flat and G on the third fret. Then we have a minor six, that's uh, one and two on the G. And then we change the strings, D and B, a fifth fret. And this is really quick. Okay. And this leads us to, you can glide these down now, to a B half diminished. Two, three, two, three, in a four strings. Then a B flat minor six, which is here. We have a B flat minor here. I hope first fret is always hard to show on video. Hope you see that. Um, I'm taking this thing out here. That's a triad. Second, second, uh, third, third, and second. Up until the B. And here is the sixth of the chord. That's the third of the E string. Right? B flat minor 6. So from here, A minor 7, regular A minor 7 um, jazz chord, 5, D string, G and B string. We don't play the A string. Then I add a little strum because now it's just the rhythm filler. There's no more melody. That's the 2 chord and here's the 5 chord in the same scale. That's a D9. Just glide down and in between there's room for your index. So we get the D9, 5, 4, 5, 5, up until here. Right? And that was the first phrase which I'm gonna play for you at slow tempo now, okay? Entire phrase. One, two, three. Now here are the last four bars of the A1 section. I call this phrase number 2A. All right, we were at the D9 chord. We go to the B half diminished again. We had this before already. Two, three, two, three in a four strings. 
then I just lift my index off to play the melody of F, G, F. The thing is, don't go like this, because you will end the chord abruptly. What we want is keep everything ringing as long as uh, it's possible when we, when we play chord melody. So I kind of bridge over with my pinky, right? B flat, now we have a 2-5 again, uh, B flat to E flat, B flat minor. I bar over the 6th fret and play the 9th of the B string. Of course I don't play the A string, it doesn't belong to the chord. So E, D, G, strings and the B and the 9th. Then I lift my pinky and I get the 6th of, of that B string. Then an E flat 7, regular cowboy chord, in a 4 string, 6, 8, 6, 8. Lift your pinky and 6th of the B. So. And F with the aim bass, we had it before, 5, 3, 5. Then the melody is 6th of B, 3rd of E and 6th of B. It depends now if you're able to do that, do it. If not, we have to lift our fingers off. Sometimes when it's faster, I can't play like this, you know, because... Oops. Alright, but if you can, leave your fingers on the fretboard after the chord. Yeah, that's a little tricky. Okay, A flat minor seven, another two five one. A flat minor minor seven on the fourth, upper three strings plus the bass. Um, and the where are we here? Sixth of the B string, and a D flat nine sharp eleven chord. I love that chord. Could also be a G altered actually. Let's say it's a D flat. Here is the root. We don't play that. Third, fourth, fourth, and third fret. Right? A flat minor. And I stretch over to the sixth of the uh, B. All right. Then we go to the third of. Um, we are in G minor now. On G minor now. Up till the B string. Third fret. D, G, B plus the E. 6 B, a third of E string, already lying here. And back to the sixth of the B string, right? Slide over to its five chord, the G13, uh, C, sorry, C13, from G to th C. 8, 9 of G, 10 of B, and the 8 of E by barring. Right, that's a C13. Go back. I uh, go to the B flat 13, two frets to the left. Lift your ring finger, and you get the F. That's the sixth of the B string. Right from C to B flat and to A7 sharp five. That's why I keep my finger here because we could play that with the open A string as well. 5, 6 of G, 6 of B, and 5 by barring of E. Then I strum over it. Don't strum over the, uh, over the A string. That's the avoid note. We don't want that. And a D9, we know that chord already. 5, 4, 5, 5 in a 4 strings. Two, two strums. So from A. And that was the second phrase. I'm gonna play it slowly for you now. Three, four.
Now we have the A2 section and we repeat everything except for the last bar. Remember we came from that C13, B13, and then we went down to A7. We don't do that now. We go, we change the last bar in order to fit, to have a 2-5 that leads us to the B section because now we go to the B section. So the last bar of A2 is an E minor 911. That's a little bit tricky. I start on the A string, here's the E. I bar over, but I don't play the A. Okay, we have an E chord, not an A chord. Seven, five, seven, seven, five. And this is an E minor 911 chord. I strum a second time, and now I go to that A7 sharp five. Uh, and actually I don't bar it now because I can't strum, I would strum the A string. So this time, I mean if you don't strum, if you play it like this, that's okay, like we did before, but right now I'm choosing the open A string. Five of D, six, six, and five by barring, and I'll leave the A open so I can strum, okay? From E minor to A7 sharp five. Okay, don't touch the E string though. All right, so everything remains the same except for the last bar, and now it's for the B section. And we have the resolution of the uh, 2B, and that was um, A minor to A, uh, E minor to A. Now the resolution is D, of course, D major 7 in this case. That's 5, 7, 6, 7 in a four strings. And then, interestingly enough, the avoid note in the melody, the fourth, that's the eighth fret, the G of the B string. Then the same thing again, chord plus the avoid note, the G. And then the E minor 11, that's 12 E, 12, 12, 10. E minor 11. 12th of the B string, F sharp minus 7. Here's the F sharp on the 9th. Uh, 11, 9, 10, 9, all the way through because here's the melody, then the B string. Here's the melody. And now we change over to an F altered, a, uh, F sharp, ex, uh, to be exact, ex, F sharp, seven sharp, nine. Uh, nine, eight, nine, ten. And this resolves to the B minor seven chord. We'll leave this line here and bridge over, bar over seven. We don't play the A string. Whenever we start a chord on the E string in jazz, we don't never play the A string. 7D, 7G, and the 10. That's B minor 7, right? So from F sharp, F sharp, 7 sharp, 9, to B minor. Lift this off, and the 7th of the B appears. And now the 5 chord, B7 flat 9, we play that as a D sharp diminished chord. They substitute for altered chords. Um, I have a video on that, uh, it's called Diminished Arpeggios or Chords over, all, over Dom Chords. So, 6, 7, 5, 7. D sharp diminished or B7 flat 9 and that resolves to an E minor 9, 7, 5, 7, 7 till the B string, melody, G and a B again. The 5 chord of the E minor is an A, A, and we play A13 sus4. That's the A, then the 5 of D, 7, 7, we leave our fingers here from the A minor 9, put this out to the 8th fret, and we go to D major 7 again, this time we strum all the way through uh, to the high E string. Five, seven, six, seven, five. Once, twice, and now A altered, the tritone substitute of A altered is E flat nine, sharp 11. We have that here. That's a little tricky to fret, but it sounds awesome. Really jazzy. Six, that's the E flat. Five, six, six, 
5 by barring. So I bar again over everything, but I do not play the E string. We don't have A, we want to play the triton substitute E flat. So I start on the A string. It's a little narrow here though. I play that twice. And that was phrase number three, which I'm going to play slowly now for you. Three, four. Here are the last four bars of the B section and we have an interesting uh, repetition here. We start on that D major 7 again that we had in the beginning of the B section, 5, 7, 6, 7. And we go to that 8th fret again, back, the chord and the 8th fret again. We had this before. But now we go up to a G9 and that's here. G is here on the 10th of the A, 9, 10, 10, in a four strings. Then I go out to the 11th. And now we repeat the thing we had with the F sharp minor going on, but two frets to the left. That's E minor. The whole thing repeats itself now. Then the B string. Then the E7 sharp 9 chord. 7, 6, 7, 8. Then you leave this here, A minor. Recognize this, we had the same thing, two frets to the right. Now we're here on the A, five, five, eight, A minor seven this is. Oops. Then the B string on the fifth. And the C sharp diminished, that stands for an A7 flat nine chord. Four, five, three, five. Okay, let me repeat this. Now we continue the same way we did. D minor 9, 5, 3, 5, 5. Then the G string, the B string. G 13 sus 4. That's a 3. Then the D on the third, 5, 5. Same thing we had, but 2 to the left. Go to the sixth. And now it's different. Now we have the G minor 7. That's 3 and the upper 3. Another time, and then it's five chord the C9. Uh, that's uh, three, two, three, three in a four strings. And then I repeat, I go to the A section. Remember, we had A, A, B. Now it's the A section, and we start with this pickup again that we learned the first note, we learned two, five. Okay, and then the A section repeats. Right, let me repeat that um, phrase number four for you at slow tempo. Three, four. The A3 section, the first six bars are identical to the A1, respectively the A2 sections. And now we go to a G minor 9 chord. That's 10, 8, 10, 10 in a four strings. Here is the G root. Then you lift your index, go to the 8th fret, that's the C of the E string, the D and the C. All right, the five chord, we are now in the ending chords. Uh, that's an altered chord. C altered. C, seven, that's the third of the chord. The flat 13, and this is the sharp nine. C seven sharp nine, flat 13. Eight, nine, nine, 11. Then a C seven flat 13. Eight, nine, nine, eight. Then you play the B string on the ninth, and the resolution chord is an F major 9 chord. It's really beautiful. Here's the F, 8, 7, 9, 8. 
All right, so the last three bars, okay, that are different from the A one and two sections, slowly, three, four, When Sunny Gets Blue is one of many jazz ballads I have up here on YouTube in chord melody style. Go check them out. I hope you give this video a fat thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I see you next week. Servus, Baba. Thank you.